let's get these cylinder heads done. Welcome back everybody. I got in the rocker arm shims so I'm going to tackle this project again. What I ended up with was getting two more packs of shims, eight pieces each. I got some 10,000 shims, some 15,000 shims. Uh, the ones that came with my rocker arms had some 23 or 4 thousandths shims and some 28 thousandths shims already on them. So hopefully between the four of them and the extras now, I should be able to uh, space these out properly. I, uh, I'm not going to force you to watch me struggle through this for probably the next hour or so. Uh, so I'm going to get this done. I'll get back to it and then we will measure the push rods, get those installed and hopefully get the uh, valve lash set and be done with the heads so wish me luck
that was way too much work for something that seems so simple. But um, I got this side done. It took me a while, but once I understood and approached it from a simpler manner, I guess you'd say, then uh, it wasn't so bad. I did have one issue that kept hanging me up though in the beginning, and that is these uh, the clamps that go over the studs. One of them fit barely cleared nicely, you know, it was a good fit. The other one did not want to see over the stud properly. So all the time before I found that out and the other day when I was struggling thinking I didn't have the spacing and shimming between the studs proper, that wasn't the case at all. It was literally the clamp binding on the studs. So I basically took a measurement, went downstairs, and very gently, actually by hand, not even with a machine, uh, reamed out the, uh, the base hole in the clamp, probably less than a thousandth of an inch, maybe a full thousandth, uh, so that I got a clear but good fit on both clamps on the studs. Once I did that, everything else went a lot easier. Now, all I did first was randomly guess with the large bushing in the middle, uh, randomly guess through some shims on both sides with just the uh, center two rocker arms on it, slid the shaft on, and I didn't torque, but I, I seated the, uh, the hold down nuts, you know, until they were on and just a little firm. And... At that point, I could figure out what I had for uh, clearance, whether I needed to add shims, remove shims. Uh, I can use feeler gauges to figure out pretty much how many shims or, or what combination of shims I needed. And then at the same time I had it on there, I obviously held the two center rocker arms up and guesstimated how much in either direction either one needed to be done. So once I had that in my mind, it wasn't too bad. Then it was just doing a little math in my head because I have some 30 thousandth shims uh, from the factory, what appear to be 24 thousandth shim from the factories, uh, and then the 15s and then the 10s. So that's a lot of back and forth math as to if I pull a 30 thousandths over here, replace it with a 15 thousandths and a 10 thousandths at the other end, I gained five thousandths, but I've shifted everything. Uh, a lot of that back and forth real quick in my head. Um, once I got the two basically figured out, I got it on, tightened it down, grabbed my feeler gauges, and somebody told me online, uh, that I needed a four thousandths clearance. So I got my four thousandths and got a a little drag, but it fit actually. I got real lucky on that. These move freely. They don't fall on their own, but again, after just the tiniest bit of motion, uh, I'm sure they will free right up. But there's four thousandths uh, spacing in there uh, for clearance, for tolerance. Uh, then the ends... Uh, the last end I did was actually probably just about perfect, about four or five thousandths clearance. This one here has about six thousandths. I don't think that's going to make any sort of a difference. Uh, just I don't have a realistic option as to with the number of shims to get that exactly where I want it. I may think about it again. Uh, do the math in my head again, maybe draw it out on paper, maybe it'll make more sense that way. But it's where I want it as far as shim spacing goes. Um, I'll figure this end out or I'll leave it with just a couple thousandths extra. I don't think that'll make a massive difference. Uh, worst case scenario, I think I have some thin stainless uh, shim stock downstairs. I can try and make a shim that'll 
fit, even just a couple thousandths, uh, or whatever I have in combination with what I have here. I, I'm sure I can get there. Um, good news is it's all figured out. Now I've handled everything here so many times and up and down the stairs and touching things. I'm going to, before I call it final, I'm going to take it apart, lay it all out, disassemble it in an orderly fashion, clean everything, grease everything, final assemble the entire shaft, then I'll apply it back onto the head. And at that point, I can start to move on to the push rods, measuring the push rods, uh, getting those cut, manufactured, installed, and setting the valve lash. But um, I gotta say, it's been almost two hours, I think, just to get this done. So uh, if you're better at this than me, uh, post some comments below. Go ahead and laugh at me if, uh, if I missed something simple or obvious or, you know, maybe what I figured out in the end was what I should have known the whole time. But uh, feel free to poke fun at me on that one because uh, I feel a little silly. Silly considering the number of hours I've spent uh, just on these rocker shafts. But uh, considering it's uh, my butt on the line at thousands of feet in the air, I want it perfect. So I don't mind doing things two, three, four times if I need to. Obviously, I'd like it to go quick and easy, but uh, uh, that's rarely the case. So I'm going to call this video done for today. Uh, let's go into the pretense that the rocker shafts will be done. I'm probably only going to spend about 30 more minutes. I should get the other side all dialed in. And then in the next video, we'll work on the uh, the push rods, the measuring them, uh, cutting them to length, pressing in the ball end, and installing them all, and setting the valve lash. So I'm telling you, long days for a little progress are tough, but that's... Uh, that's the price we pay for the fun we want to have. So anyways, thanks again. I appreciate you guys watching, even if I'm boring you on some days. Uh, remember, if you like what I'm doing here, click the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up because YouTube loves that. And that helps my videos get seen by a few more people. And if you want to help even further, share these with your friends. Thanks for watching.